Welcome, boys and girls. It's Channel Couch Co op. Uh, Shafe here today, just I. Um, I am, uh, had a random pickup actually. Uh, this was released recently, the Sonic the Hedgehog Lego set. It's, uh, I guess it was submitted by uh, a fan and um, voted on, and so it became an actual set. Um, always was a Lego guy as of when I was younger. Um, uh, Grimm's a big Lego guy now, he has done some. Uh, I think he's done like the Friends uh, Central Perk coffee shop and uh, something from Harry Potter. I don't know. I don't really follow that. But uh, but yeah, so when this came out, I was like, I've always wanted to get the Ghostbuster Firehouse. Um, it was just, it was so fucking expensive. And quite honestly, it's just, it's huge. And it's like... <laughs> Like that thing's a display piece on its own. So, um, you know, I, I, I've always kind of been like, I regret not buying it, honestly, because now it's no longer in production and it's super fucking expensive to buy now. I think it's like 550 bucks. But, um, but yeah, anyway, so it was always steep for me. So this was a decent price at, I think 70 bucks. So, um, I was like, all right. And you know, so I went to the mall today after work grab this thing because I saw they had it in stock because I didn't want to wait for shipping and I uh, was a child and was like I'm gonna build this now so I uh, figured I'd uh, show you guys this I'll unbox it and then I'll uh, super fast forward uh, time I, uh, so you guys could see me put it together real quick and then uh, we can talk about it what it looks like at the end uh, so ready to do this journey with you guys that'd be kind of cool never opened one of these up but at least one of the recent ones so this will be kind of a guessing game for me. Uh, okay. Oh, of course. God damn. I got my knife. <clears throat> Alright, so. That was a special on the inside. Sadly. But, whatever. Uh, so they number of the packs now. Quite honestly, I don't even know when was the last time I built one of these. I, I had the Aquanauts as a kid. That was my set. My brother had the Pirates with the uh, natives, like the aztec -y natives, sort of. Oh, they're stickers. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, oh, and they did it. That's fucking cool. Show you guys that. Ah, and then it's the end credit screen. After you beat the game, uh, he stomps up and down on end. So, so apparently, I don't know, maybe they're going to make more. Can't say. So yeah, uh, and it gives you a little celebration of all the history of the Sonic games, which is cool. The timeline. Pretty rad, I gotta say. They knew, they knew their demographic. Oh, so it talks about the chick that made it. That's cool. Lauren Cullen King. There she is. So as most of you may know, uh, and our watchers, uh, big fucking, uh, it's just the washing machine, my baby, just the washing machine. But, um, like, uh, now I forgot what I was going to say. Love, you're killing me. Uh, oh yeah, about Sonic. Uh, it was, Genesis was actually my first console uh, that I owned. Um, so, uh, bought it with my own <laughs> communion money, first communion money. Yeah. Anyway, oh, oh, so each pack is each character and stuff. That's, that's cool. All right, so number one has Sonic in it. We'll put that one together because it's only three things. It's a palm tree, one of the crabs. I forgive me, I can't remember its name. Um, I'm going to say it's like, no, no, I'm not going to say because Cheap Cheap is definitely Mario. Baby! This looks like. Palm tree, maybe? Hmm. 
six looks like we're back bank or something. Yeah, it is. Hmm. All right. Well, everything's out of that beast. So I'll fold this thing back up. Box is nice. I'll give it. It's dirty. Should last a while. So anyway, let's deep dive into this. All right. Hyper mode, engage. Oh yeah, maybe not engage, I forgot. I don't like a best for me opening it, I suppose. Yeah. God. Well, I'll say uh, Sonic's head's really well done. <clears throat> before I show you. Oh, uh, he's even got the back graphic. That's cool. Decent detail. That's cool. Lego eye Lego eyesed Sonic. That does not roll off the tongue. Alright, so this is like the thing you could stand on with the that holds the deck. Chaos Emeralds. Alright, so he holds a ring. There it is. Interestingly enough, you would think that they, it's like grooved, you can see. I don't know why they didn't make it a little more, a little smaller, like the inner ring, I think you could almost remove it, truly. But maybe for sturdiness, they did that, I don't know. I'm not a fan, won't lie, it's a little disappointing. Hmm. All right, so, I just noticed it even has his little bu yellow buckle on his shoe. Yeah. Cool. see that probably not <laughs> hard to say all right uh, now we're building the stand I guess I need this thing uh, I guess I'll super fast mode this because truly what's the point of watching this Alright, there's the crab. Pretty cool. Alright. Oh god. Alright, it looks like we're deep diving. What are we making here? Yeah, we're starting to make the uh the whole uh set here, so I'll uh stop here. Um just because it's going to be a big ass build, um, but um, I will come back at the end and show you the finished product. Welcome back. Here we are. It's all done. Well, in total, it took me, I think, like six and a half hours. Um, so it was a bit of a project uh, for how tiny it is. Um, I mean, it's, well, I think I said like 14 and some inches from end to end on this. Um, but, uh, oh, my crab meat fell. I didn't notice. My bad. There's the whole presentation. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, sorry, I'm a little. Uh, it, into, you know, like I said, uh, the, maybe the biggest thing that I would say was the biggest pain in the ass is if you see all these little pixels in the ground, every little square you see there essentially is a one by one little piece, um, two put together. And you're gonna line them up for each one, um, sometimes two to three. Uh, mostly two to three. I think most of them are three. But yeah, anyway, just a true pain. Um, and just a lot of small pieces in this bad boy. So I uh, just want, want to do, want to give that warning. Um, uh, let Lucy up here. Um, so yes, other, otherwise though, it, it does, it's gratifying. I mean, when you finally finish this, the very good thing, it's, uh, 
it's you know you're looking at it like damn that's that's awesome like you you made that um some things of note is uh i don't know some like of the back stuff is a little funky maybe i didn't read the instruction entirely right but um uh like the squares aren't exactly correct on one of the loop de loops but uh everything else is pretty good uh the characters and everything else like that like the crab meat pretty cool um the eyes are always googly hence why they're that way and then uh the moto bug i believe pretty good detail on that um he's got the little tire kind of on the bottom uh fine he's supposed to sit here but because these little round things are so wonk um it's not really easy or recommended so i like putting them here so uh, he doesn't move. <laughs> He's got the interchangeable dribble face, of course, um, which is this. And then you got, of course, the TVs with the power-ups. Um, they can be moved, switched around. So there's the back one. And then you got the shield. <clears throat> and then you have a one-up one as well. Um, all those are stickers. Uh, these on the side of the loop-de-loop -loop are stickers here as well. Um, trying to think what else. Um, yeah, oh yeah, the uh, this thing does turn around. So you have the red before he goes through it, the blue for after. Obviously, he's in the loop-de-loop, -loop, so... Whoop. Sorry. It's uh, very, very uh, finicky. You kind of have to be very gentle with everything. This guy doesn't peg in at all. Um, he has a little clear bottom, so it kind of makes him look like he's standing on top of there. Uh, but then of course we got Dr. Robotnik and his little flyer, which I think the flyer is pretty solid. Uh, wish it could be a little more bulbous. Um, it's a little flat, but uh, of course I'll be showing all close up pictures of this probably as I'm doing this, but uh, it's got the cool little flame in the back. Um, these are, of course, little stickers on the sides here. It is not printed on the, uh, the, uh, thing. So I have them ca carrying the, I, they came with extra Chaos Emeralds. Um, so I thought I'd put it in the, uh, scene here. Uh, Robotnik's, of course, carrying two of them. The rest of them are actually in a ship. He's essentially at his feet. He kind of stands in there. Um, I could lift him out of there. Actually, I guess I should, because you guys should see his feet. His feet are pretty spot on. I mean, my God, like, he, uh, <clears throat> he's got the pointy little toes, everything. Like, he's bulbous. The head's pretty good. I don't know if I like the nose. Uh, nose could maybe have a little work there. It's a little large. The thing, my, uh, lunch is done. Uh, a little fragile. <clears throat> Yeah, just because the bottom part kind of comes off easily. Like I'm kind of coming at you. So, anywho, uh, I will say there is this little, um, the, uh, uh, bumper, I guess. Mm, I don't know if it's technically a bumper. But anyway, spring, that's what they call it. <laughs> um, so, this does come up. I kind of added a little extra. Um, it, it, it is a little hard to kind of hit that with uh, the allotted uh, room that you got. An adult finger barely fits in there, so you can barely really hit it. So I had some extra pieces, of course. They always come in every set. And I kind of made a little extra lip on it so I could do it without having to put my finger down in there. But it looks cool otherwise. Um, yeah, I guess that's everything there. The tree, of course, the palm tree, pretty spot on, um, you know, from from the look. Uh, you know, of course, you got the grass on the sides. Um, very cool. Uh, the, the, of course, the uh, flower, sunflower, I always thought they were. Um, the spiky sunflower right there. And then, of course, you got some kind of Easter egg in the back of it um, where it says it has some high scores on it. Uh, which are the top two, I think, are in reference of the people that helped create this. And the bottom one is the guy that was the French guy from the booklet. And uh, the score on the bottom is, I believe, the reference to when Sonic was first released. 
which was 1991. So anyway, um, you know, some other stuff, I guess. Uh, you know, the bridge, real, the detail on the bridge is actually fucking really cool. Um, highly detailed with the, you know, like the lugs used on there. Um, you know, came across, um, but I, I think it looks just fantastic. Um, you know, you do have the rings, of course, which are cool. I, I don't know. I mean, the clear poles are kind of nice, but I think where it kind of holds the ring, it kind of gets a little too, um, a little not less transparent and where your eyes kind of focus more on what's holding the ring a little bit, but, uh, you know, cool otherwise. Um, but yeah, then of course you have the little stand, which I had showed you, and which was an, a neat, another neat little touch was every time you, uh, finished a section of this thing, it actually told you to place one of the, um, uh, uh chaos emeralds into it. So, which was pretty cool in my opinion. But, uh, anyway, this does come apart. Um, you can take it apart and rearrange it if you really wanted to. I do not want to do that, um, because you do have to take apart this little black bar in the bottom, um, where it kind of will separate and then you could, uh, like rearrange the, uh, the level essentially. So if you want like the loop-de-loop -loop first, you can do that, um, or the spring before the loop-de-loop, -loop, whatever. Uh, so it, it's pretty cool. And then of course, um, there are two ends on it. Which, um, no matter what, you know, it kind of makes me question, like, are they going to release more? Or, I mean, perhaps you could buy multiple of these and, uh, uh, create, like, a big long level if you really wanted to. Especially with all the spare parts you'll have. So, you know, make a little more custom thing. They allow that if you want to. Um, but this set isn't exactly that cheap. I mean, 70 bucks. Decent, but not great. Uh, but anyway... Uh, sweet. I mean, honestly, my overall review is, uh, if you're a Sonic fan, it's pretty goddamn cool. Uh, especially if you're a Lego fan, I'd say day one purchase. <laughs> if you don't know about it, I'm sure you do. But, uh, get it, get it now. It's, uh, awesome. Anyway, um, thanks guys for watching and, uh, you know, spicing it up here. That's what we do. Channel Caps go up.